Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name's Emily, and if you are not new, this is my first video doing a sit down intro in my new bedroom, in my new place. I am so freaking excited to finally be doing my first kind of sit down video intro. I'm gonna be standing up later in the video, but this is the first time that I am sitting down with my cute little apartment in the background. I am so excited. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a grocery haul with you guys. I may or may not have spent $360 at Walmart. Obviously, this is not going to be how it is every single time. This is just our first initial big grocery haul. The Amazon guy's here. Okay, anyways, um, so this is our first big haul. It also was kind of more expensive because we needed cleaning supplies, we needed a microwave, we needed a toaster. We just stocked up on everything. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through everything that we got and I'm so excited. I also get to show you guys around my kitchen a little bit more. If you have not already, please make sure to subscribe and check out my move and vlog that I will link above for you guys. But other than that, let's get into this grocery haul. Okay, so we are going to start off with the vitamins that I got. So we already had apple cider vinegar. Um, this is like random medicine. Vitamin D and then vitamin C that we take. So we already had these. So I just picked up this men's multivitamin for Ricky, some probiotics for both of us, and then the women's under 50 multivitamin. So these are great. I've really liked them so far. Honestly, I wanted a probiotic that wasn't a gummy, but at Target, I literally could not find any probiotics that weren't gummies. So I might try to stop at Walgreens next time when we run out of these to get some that aren't gummies. Then over here, we are going to start with something I'm so excited about. So I never got these because they I feel like are a little bit expensive but honestly because it is like protein and such high quality I finally just broke down and got it and guys we ate this for breakfast on Sunday and holy crap they are so good I love them so much I did it with almond milk and it was just perfect amazing I'll insert a little picture of how our breakfast turned out I did it with really cute pumpkin waffle maker from Target so 10 out of 10 would recommend these then we just got some regular spaghetti some penny and then we have so much over here so Ricky really loves chips and salsa as you can see he's already dug into these so we just got some chips and salsa and then oh my gosh are all of them gluten-free or did I just accidentally buy the gluten-free ones? I don't know, but apparently we got the gluten-free ones. Um, then I got these from Target. I really like these. I think that they're really good. Um, honestly, I just kind of like any veggie straws. I don't really know that they're all that healthy, but I really enjoy these. Then I just got some simple croutons for our salad because tonight for dinner we are going to have chicken meatballs with spaghetti and salad. Then I don't really eat rice but Ricky does so I got some instant white rice I absolutely love popcorn it's one of my favorite things recently so I got some smart food smart 50 popcorn so I actually wanted to preface this you guys probably over the next however long probably forever will hear me say that I can't eat dairy I've been having a lot of stomach problems and my doctor told me to cut out dairy so but I did want to preface that like I'm sure that there might be a few things that are still linked lingering around our pantry apartment and I'm sure that there will be some things in the future that I might not realize has dairy in it but if it's such a small amount it's okay. I know that I'm not going to be like as careful as somebody that is completely dairy free just because it's simply for like stomach problems for me and I'm hoping that it'll help my skin and just digestive system as a whole. Sorry I'm rambling. Just wanted to throw that out there. There might still be some dairy and different things lingering around but for the most part I will not be eating dairy anymore. Ricky loves pretzels so we got some mini pretzel twists as well. Okay next up we have 
have some reduced fat thin wheat crackers. Then we have some Spanish style rice. This stuff is so good. My mom normally makes it and I really love it. We're gonna have this when we have chicken fajitas later in the week. Then I got chunk light tuna. I know that this is kind of weird and people are probably gonna judge me, but I honestly really like tuna. So got some of this for me. And then another thing that people might find weird that I really like, I love green beans. I know that they're so much better fresh, but I do just like to have these on stock. If we are running out of groceries, I don't really normally eat vegetables out of the can, but I like to have these as backup in case we're running long groceries and I can't get to the store. Then, of course, to go with the Spanish rice, we have some taco seasoning. Now that I realize, I don't know why I bought this because I actually got taco seasoning in our little spice rack, but it's okay, whatever, we need extra. Ricky loves taco seasoning. I got this super convenient little turny thing that I love, and we just got some liquid aminos vegetable oil we got this peanut powder which i have had pb2 before this was cheaper so i got this and i actually like it just as well i think that it's a really good substitute for pb2 then we have some sugar-free imitation honey honestly i tried this yesterday i'm not crazy about it it's not terrible but i honestly don't think that other than like the sodium as or not sodium sorry the um sugar aspect that it really is any better i think that i'm just once we get through this gonna stick to having regular like fresh honey. Then we have some sugar-free syrup. I really like this. I got this in college. And then of course, sriracha and Louisiana hot sauce. Then over here by the Keurig, we have so much going on. I'm gonna start over here. So I got these for when we make chicken fajitas. I thought that they would be really good to try and they are only 50 calories, which for tortillas is amazing. So I'm hoping that they taste good. And then I also wanna use these for when we do homemade pizzas at some point this week. I don't know if Ricky will like this for pizzas. I might just get him some relatively healthy pizza crust, but I'm gonna try this for my pizza, so hopefully that's good. And then I really like this sugar-free maple and brown sugar oatmeal from the Great Value Walmart brand as well. Ricky is a big fruit snack guy, so although this probably isn't the best for you, I got these for him. Then, of course, a lot of baking stuff. So we stocked up on some baking powder, baking soda. I got this white chocolate jello sugar-free mix because I saw on TikTok actually a girl have cheesecake one of these and put it on strawberries and she said that it was really good. So I'm gonna try this because they were out of the cheesecake kind and I will update you guys. I think I might have it as a snack today to see if it's any good. Then we also got some Hershey's 100% uh, cacao powder. Love that. I got this actually I got from Starbucks. I had so many points that I got a free bag of coffee from Starbucks. So I use this to make my midday cold brew. I will show you guys the cold brew that I make. So this is the cold brew that I make. It's from this Takia. I think it's Takia, but I could totally be pronouncing that wrong, but it's a little cold brew maker Ricky got me for my birthday. So that's really cool. But back to this, I also put apple cider vinegar in my water every morning, and I just learned that you're actually supposed to get the apple cider vinegar that's murky, not clear, and this is clear, so I'm not gonna waste it. I am gonna just finish this one, but next time I will actually get the good brand. I just was racking up the price of this grocery bill in my head and just Decided to go with this one. <laughs> then I got for baking some unsweetened coconut flakes. I got cane sugar, vegetable oil, and then light brown sugar and almond flour. I feel like the almond flour from Great Value is a pretty good deal too. Then I use this in the morning to make my coffee. I think that it's pretty good, but I definitely like the pods better. I've been trying to use the reusable pods, but I don't know. I just. It's good, but it's not strong enough for me. I'm a very strong coffee gal. Then we got just some traditional pasta sauce. I'm gonna like doctor this up myself, make it a little bit better, but just got this for our pasta sauce for dinner tonight. And then, of course, I love these, you guys. I know that they're kind of pricey, but honestly, I don't go through them that fast, so it's so worth it. I got these Smart Sweets from Target. It is the Gummy Bears, and then I got two of the Swedish Fish. I'm gonna be honest, these do not taste like Swedish Fish 
at all. Like, I think that when I heard somebody else say that they taste like cough medicine, that is kind of true, but I don't mind it. It definitely does not taste super like cough medicine. I actually like them, but definitely don't taste like Swedish fish. It just kind of has like a cherry flavor. And then I also got like the Sour Patch Kids version of it. Okay, so now on to some refrigerator stuff. We have fresh spinach that I, again, got from Walmart some lettuce as you guys can tell some of the stuff i have used and it's just because the day that i actually went grocery shopping my parents were here and i was rushing around it was crazy and i just could not film that day but this is still everything we haven't like gone through anything yet we got some bananas a green pepper for the fajitas and then we got limes, lemons, apple, peach, oranges. I got tons of oranges because I actually have an orange juicer because I love fresh orange juice. Then we got this white 35 calorie bread. And honestly, I think this is really, really good. And then we got some reduced fat mayo with olive oil. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to try it for lunch with some tuna. So hopefully that will be good. I got some avocado oil, plant-based butter, some raspberries eggs and then strawberries that I cut up. They're so good. Then we also got some carrots and cucumber that I cut up. This one like I accidentally cut too thin, but you guys get the point. Um, I just cut up this stuff so that it's like easy for us to snack on. And then we have all the sauces back here. So we got some chunky salsa. We literally go through salsa so fast. Teriyaki, yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, ketchup, and then sweet baby rays. Then over here we have all of the drinks. As you guys can see, most of this was put away already, so I just got one of each out. We have some unsweetened almond milk. I really don't like the vanilla one, so I just go with unsweet. Then Ricky loves these, so got a few of these. I got this cosmic cranberry kombucha. I really like like having kombucha in a wine glass at night because it makes me feel like I'm having a glass of wine in the night, but I'm really drinking something healthy. So um, I tried this last night and it, guys, this is so freaking good. It tastes like strawberry jelly to me. So I really love this. And then I got some of this sugar-free French vanilla syrup. We of course got some white claws to have on hand, lime LaCroix, then we got these focus drinks from Amazon. I love them so much. It literally tastes like a non-alcoholic lime white claw. And then just these mini cans of Diet Pepsi. Okay, and then last but not least, some freezer items. So I got this butter pecan coconut milk ice cream. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited because I really like butter pecan ice cream. And then I got this Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough non-dairy ice cream. I had some of this last night and it was really good. We got some dark chocolate chip. I got two lean cuisine things. I normally don't eat these, honestly. But like I said, kind of about the green beans. I just like having things that's like backup meals in case we need groceries. But I can't run to the store right then. Some home style waffles. I do really like the Kodiak cakes. But got these just to have as a backup as well. And then I got three things of this steam fresh broccoli because I really, really like broccoli and I can honestly sit here and eat this whole bag. Also wanted to show you guys, this is the microwave and toaster that we got. I think this toaster is only like $15 and it's honestly really nice. And then we got the smaller microwave because I'm like, this thing is like huge. What in the world would we need a bigger microwave for? and it saves us so much counter space. So we've got this cute little setup going on. So yeah, that is everything that we got in the grocery haul other than the cleaning supplies, but honestly, I don't think that that would be too fun for you guys to see. But that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this little grocery haul. I'm sure there will be tons more to come because like I said earlier, grocery shopping is seriously one of my favorite things. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments or follow me on Instagram and you can message me on there. As always, if if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a comment thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next She's one